Hi guys, I'm Leaping Lizard, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why I think Nicole Kessinger is connected with Trent Bolt, and how I think that she used him as a red herring and put him out there to divert attention from herself. When Trent was interviewed by the FBI, he indicated that he had a friend that worked in an oil rig. Well, we all know that Nicole and her friend Jim also worked on oil rigs, so there could be a a relationship that way. Okay, I'm going to read to you the letter that Trent put on a closed Facebook page when he came out that he was in a relationship with Chris. And then I'm going to tell you some of the reasons why and show you some of the reasons why that I think Nikki might have helped him write the letter. Okay, I'm going to go through the letter that Trent put on Facebook and point out a few things that lead me to believe that he was... Um, conspiring with Nicole to divert attention from her and put it on him and make it look like he Chris had had multiple affairs with other women and other men so it would take the heat off of her since no one was falling for her little Amber Fry act. And in this letter, um, Trent indicates that he didn't know that Chris was married either when he first met him and for quite a while he didn't, he wasn't aware and then he goes on to say, um, this stupid witch hunt trying to find his, quote, mistress and all the men and women he slept with is effing ridiculous. And he used the F word. He's real fired up about that, that there's a witch hunt for this mistress. Why, why would Trent care? And then he says, the only thing we're guilty of is trusting a stranger. Why is he speaking for all these other people? How does he know there's all these other people? It's like kind of odd. And then he goes on to say that, oh, he told me, he told me he was the victim of emotional and mental abuse and was stuck in a loveless marriage, but was scared to leave because of, of the kids. Well, in one of the interviews, uh, I heard Nicole use that same phrase that he was stuck. You know how she talks, stuck. And I'll play that. I'm in a very bad spot that I don't need to be in but I'm stuck in, and that was kind of where he was at. I'm in a very bad spot that I don't need to be in, but I'm stuck in, and that was kind of where he was at. I'm in a very, but I'm stuck, but I'm stuck, but I'm stuck, but I'm stuck. Okay, so Trent goes on and says, I'm sure there were multiple women, and probably not, he's probably not the only man that Chris slept with. How is he sure? How is he sure of that? And then he says, none, in capital letters, none of the people that Chris slept with owe the public anything. So he's real defensive of these other people. And he, then he says, so all of these things about hashtag mistress come forward is effing ridiculous. So the only two times he used the F word is when he's talking about the mistress. He's real defensive of her, isn't he? And then he says, you have no idea what I'm going through, let alone anyone else that he slept with. So let's focus on getting to the bottom of what happened between the people involved with the crime and only them or him. I'm not up for any criminal charges and neither are any of the others. Now, how would Trent Bolt know that? How would he know any of the others that Chris slept with are up for any charges? Unless he was contacting the mistress. I really think that uh, maybe she paid him, you know, who knows. But I really do think that this was, he was put out there as a diversion. He's just a big diversion. Okay, so Trent goes on and says, I'm sure. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to draw your attention to is the text messages that were in the discovery files. And it's the text between Nicole and the detective. And this one is Tuesday, August the 28th. And it shows Nicole asking the detective, so how's the text recovery going? So see, she's just fishing. She's fishing for information to see if they've recovered anything yet. And then the next day on Wednesday the 29th, she says, did you see the news? He says, yes. She says, you think that's a real claim? If so, do you think you can find him? 
He says, no idea and yes. Did he ever mention anything about that? Nicole says, not at all. I don't know if I believe this yet. But he fooled me into thinking he was a much different person. So anything is possible. So see there again, she's fishing by asking about, did you see the news? Do you think it's, do you think Trent's real? Do you think he can find him? Yeah. Well, I think it's actually, this is when he appeared on the Ashley Banfield, I think that's who it is, where he was um, anonymous. And um, she was asking if, if they thought that claim was real. So see there again, she's fishing for information like she likes to do. And in my opinion, she worked together with Trent and her, maybe Jim, who knows. Who knows what they're doing, but I think that she, they're all interconnected. I really think so. Let me know what you think.